Hi and welcome to the ninth episode of my little series about writing applications in C++ with Qt and Boost. And today it's only about Boost and only about Boost file system. The reason I use Boost file system is that it's very close to the standard. Basically, this library, as you see it, is proposed for standardization. This is going to be in C++ 17. And also, it's a very well proven library to do file system access. And um, also, this is the first library I'm using, which actually needs to be uh, built with Boost. It's not header only. I use the namespace alias to not always have to type boost file system. So FS is boost file system. So on top directly here are two functions which are loading uh, directories into a string of a flat set. Um, the first one is simply just loading the local directory and the second one is doing it recursively. Um, the only difference of those functions is that one uses a recursive uh, directory iterator and the other one the directory iterator. So in this function, I iterate over a directory and the value type of this iterator is a directory entry, which I insert into my flat set. This entry has a pass uh, method, which I then convert to a string. In this case, it's important that I use a generic string because Qt usually uses a generic version of um, pass operators. And then I need to take a substring here um, because I only have an interest in the, the last part of the path, the path which is the actual file or directory and file in the path which is below the point which I'm currently um, iterating over. File system also brings its own, its own file streams so this is just a helper function to write data out. I'm not sure if I even use it um, because actually uh, I use copy file down here, but that's a different thing. Um, let's have a look at this create project function. This function is simply there to be called when a new project is created. And um, I have a basic project function, which is simply creating the basic tree, but then creating the directory structure, that's a different thing. The basic project function is shared with, um, for example, the code which loads a project which has already been created. So in this case, I need to be able to create the directories. And create directories in this case creates automatically all directories in the path which don't exist. While the other method, create directory, does only create the last folder, which here is image, JavaScript, and template. Then I do a little bit of other things. Again, we see the generic string. Um, this pass separator, uh, it's very C++-like to do that, but it it's actually makes working with, with Boost file system very nice. And at the end, I have to use file system copy file to copy um, the editor of the tiny MCE to the correct location where it's later, later will be loaded in the QWeb view, like, like we saw in the last episode. The load project is testing with file system exists for simply if this file here exists. Um, the reason is that when I test, I often have to delete this file as my um, actual data, which is saved into this via boost serialization, still is changing often. And so it's not perfect, but I, I have to test currently for if this file exists. And if it doesn't exist, I have to make sure that I load certain things in the tree, which are otherwise would be loaded via the serialization code, which uh, is probably the topic next week. Um, then I load recursively several file lists, which are in this case the images, the JavaScript lists, and the, the, the files for CSS. Um, the serializer is my class, which actually does the serialization. Um, that's not of interest currently. And let's start the application quickly.
because at the end of this video, I would like to give you a quick uh, tour through the CMS. Currently, it loads automatically the test project. Um, there are different views which already work. Um, you can already edit those. Um, this is a CSS view. The same thing exists for JavaScript. Um, the image view is a bit different. It actually displays the images. And you can create directories, import images, and the delete code here still has to be done. Um, this is the code which crashes. And this is the layout view where you can add different um, CSS files, JavaScript files, and other files which you still have to you know, build um, to your layout. And that's the current stand of the CMS. And that's already it for, for this time. Um, the next episode will be on boosterization, where I have built my own solution on top of boosterization. I don't know if I have time for that before CPPCon, probably I do, but then after this, the next episode will be after CPPCon probably, or maybe at CPPCon, we'll see. Um, thank you for listening and see you next time.